And now you're also um, helping to judge on reality shows. Yeah. So that's why I was like, you're still so young. For you to be a judge, I'm like, does it when you're like judging these people be like, but I have still so much more I want to teach you, right? I'm still learning as well. Yeah. Is that like a weird feeling to be knowing that you're on the other side now and these people were where you were just like a Yeah, I feel ago. it's too early for me to be a judge uh, because I feel that I will always remain a student of music, yeah. a student of life and always, uh, like I'm someone who is always looking forward to experiences and travel and meeting new people and collaborating. Mm -hmm. So um, this judging was also like an experience and it was my chance to kind of mentor kids mm -hmm. and mentor new singers, aspiring singers. Mm -hmm. And and now I see that there is so much of talent in our country uh, that that they, they need that little guidance mm -hmm. because sometimes uh, what you see is not what is reality, yeah. right? So I feel that if you can give them perspective that yes, one day I was a, a contestant and today I have traveled this distance and there were you know these do's and don'ts that I did and if I can share that and if somebody also is aspiring to be a singer, a playback singer, mm -hmm. a performer, a live stage artist or whatever they want to do, uh, I think some some you can find inspiration in everyone yeah so you just have to look for it yeah. so what advice would you give them because you've been through it you've been in their shoes yeah. and there's so many reality shows there's so many contestants and what's interesting is sometimes the winners they win and then you never hear about them again sometimes it's somebody who loses but then ends up getting so much work and they become you know, super successful and famous. Yeah. So it's a very interesting business when you yeah. think of how reality shows can influence your career. So what advice would you give them when they're going into the reality show to say this afterwards, once we've crowned the winner, regardless if you win or not, this is what you need to actually make it in the business? Uh, I think the most important thing is uh, to be perseverant, mm -hmm. to be, to have a lot of patience and and to just keep at it because that's difficult mm -hmm. every day you wake up and if there is no opportunity you are not inspired yeah. you know and then you find like okay i'm not finding anything good in this and there is a lot of waiting and there is no opportunity and there's no money and till the time you don't re meet all these three things it it does not excite you. Mm -hmm. So you might be a very good singer, but if there is no opportunity, you yeah. are like, oh, I don't want to do this. It's it's just uh, not taking me anywhere as, you know, as a career. Mm -hmm. But that is the day you don't have to give up. Mm -hmm. That is the day you have to uh, probably tell yourself that maybe it, today is not that day mm -hmm. where I was looking for, for an opportunity, but tomorrow it will be. Mm -hmm. So... I feel that is very important. Like I meet so many people and I, they all leave their homes. They all, uh, they all, some people are from small towns. They watch the reality show, uh, you know, they watch the showbiz and they have dreams, they have aspirations and they leave their homes, the small cities and they travel all the way to Mumbai mm -hmm. and they found, they struggle to find a house because mm -hmm. it is, um, it is an expensive city. And then they find, you know, themselves in a place and blah, and, and they just kind of start living there. And then it takes very long to find the right people. And they also have to spot you. They also yeah. have to be looking for a talent like you. So it is a combination. Mm -hmm. So that's the time uh, you have to really be, you have to really work hard. Mm -hmm. You have to know that you, you have to be more driven than other people who have already got it. Mm -hmm. And... Um, Otherwise, it does not happen. Like, I feel that... And I, I've seen so many people, they've gone back. Mm -hmm. Because they're like, it's not working out for me. Mm -hmm. And it should have worked out for me within six months. Otherwise, I'm going back. My mm -hmm. parents have set only... They've set six months or eight months time limit for me. Mm -hmm. And I, if I don't get it, I, don't, I have to go back. Mm -hmm. And I've seen a lot of people going back. Yeah. And that, that really pains me because I know what it is like to... Like I can't even imagine if somebody asked me, if my parents said within these many years, if you don't crack a playback, we are going back. Mm -hmm. Like they never put a pressure on me. And mm -hmm. they said, just keep doing what you love. And uh, that's more important rather than uh, getting... It's not necessary everybody gets a huge opportunity or a big playback. 
what if you don't get it but at least you're doing what you like mm-hmm. and that that is more important but a lot of people they don't get it like a lot of actors like they they dream of being in a big film mm-hmm. you know in a dharma film and all mm-hmm. that but due to a lot of reasons they don't make it mm-hmm. so they they end up going back mm-hmm. and then they start a fresh a different kind of career mm-hmm. and that really is very it is um, i don't know if you think about it i get goosebumps i feel it's it must be so painful it's so challenging to do some to of go course. through that that experience 